Hello everyone, in this video I will show you important options for Home Assistant by ESP Home. That means if you house the power feature, if the power is off, but how to recover the state in Home Assistant? Uh, These questions maybe uh, everyone will have this problem. In our YouTube channel, after I upload the ESP Home toy uh, video, uh, one of our YouTube fans have asked me, uh, can you make a video about when you use the binary sensor uh, for on and for off to turn on and turn off this relay and how to restore the state after power feature. Okay, this video I just will answer your questions and I will have an experiment of these settings and how to slow it. Okay, let's look at. In our home assistant, I have added this A4 board uh, to home assistant dashboard. You can see I can turn on and turn off. So this will be very easy. And here you can see I have configured the YAML file at here. Just in before video, I have used this input one, digital input one, that for on and for off. Just use that wall switch and the pressed is on and the released is off. Okay, let's look at what will is the result after power feature. Okay, let's look at this device. We have experiment. Uh, this is Kinkoni Server Mini version that I have installed a Home Assistant on this board. I have connected this USB cable to this ESP32 board, A4 board. Actually, you can use any Kinkoni or your own ESP32 board. Uh, this is a wall switch. It's a launch type wall switch. So it's all the switch, just I have connected this to one with the digital input one and the ground. So that you can see in Home Assistant, I have set uh, this will turn on and turn off this really one by this switch one, this input one and this button one and this really one. So this is no problem. And this have two power supply and this for uh, this box and this for this board. So this is the power incoming. Okay, you can see I can use this button to turn on and turn off. But you can see now I have turned on the switch and this digital input one is triggered, that is hold, and this relay one is on. And in my home assistant dashboard, you can see also this relay is on and you can see the digital input one is triggered. This is on, this is on. Okay, let's test it when power off. If your house is power off, no power. Uh, this is power off and this is power off. And now you can see the home assistant I refresh. You can see uh, I just can't open this web page. I can also open another web page. You can see uh, this can't working, can't working. And also this is refresh. Okay, now pay attention to my relay and the LED state. I will power on of this switch. You can see I power on. The board is start up. And the home assistant also need a time to start up. It need a time. But this time you can see the LED for relay one is not turned on. So even if I have already, you can see, I have already pressed this button and the state will not recover before the power feature. So this is a problem. If your house always power off and the power feature, it will not feedback to the state. And also we can check this home assistant. You can see I can refresh uh, because it also is running startup wait for a moment. Okay, home assistant is ready because the A4 board is start quickly and the home assistant need many time to start up. Okay, now home assistant is start up. But this time you can see the relay is not turn on and the switch, what switch is detect turn on. So this is a problem. Okay, like I will tell you how to do with it. And we can check with the binary sensor component of the ESP home. You will find that have advanced options. And here that you can see the publish 
initial state. This is very important for power feature. And it has described if, if, if it's true. So that the sensor will publish its initial state um, put or when HA home assistant is first connection. So because one the power feature and power uh, again, the sensor is not changed the state. Because this arm press that means the state is changed. The uh, state is from one level to another level. So because only a power feature and a power recover, the state is not changed for the sensor. So this will be not trigger. So this time we need to add this publish initial state to the Yaman file so that will solve this problem. So you can see the default is false. So we just add this command. Uh, I have uh, right at here. Just publish initial state is true. So I just add this command to my ESP home. You can see at here and edit. And my input one, I just enter and paste at here. Set this input one, the sensor is published initial state is true. And then we can save and install to the ESP home. After it install complete, then we'll test again uh, what we'll do uh, in this new firmware. Okay, start up and back to Home Assistant dashboard for A4 board. And this time you can see it already have turned on and this is try good because I have never changed the state of a wall switch. Okay, let's test it. Uh, you can pay attention to my Home Assistant. You can see I can turn off, uh, dashboard is off, and then dashboard is on. This is just before, as, as seen as before. Okay, now you can see, I will disconnect the power. Uh, this power, for A4 board, the, we have two situations, two cases. The first, I power feature for this board, and the second, I will power feature for this uh, incoming power. You can see, if I, Close it, uh, disconnect it. Uh, this is off, and the home assistant uh, is not recover, but it will update later. If I connect it, you can see uh, this is auto on this time. Now let's test the, this total power switch, and you can see the home assistant is on, and the in digital input is on. And this is on, and this is pressed. Uh, I have not changed. Now I can power off, power off, power off. And this time you can see the home assistant is can't opening. It's, it's broken home assistant. Okay, then I power on again. I power on. And this really will recover immediately. It's very really fast. So this part is work without internet and work without a network. Just work in locally the ESP home, uh, make the logical between the input and the output that is in running locally without any network. Because when I power on, this is no Wi-Fi, no network. So it also can detect the input and the country this output. And we need to wait for a moment. I can refresh. Okay, our assistant startup is running, uh, but not finished. We just uh, will check when it finished startup, and you will see uh, this home assistant dashboard. All is updated the state. Uh, the relay is on, and the input one that is on. So this helps solve the, your, your top friends problem, how to recover state when the power feature, after the power feature. Okay, thanks for watching.